Hello YouTube, uh, me Milbro back with uh, another episode of The Long Haul. Just got done with Horde Night and, you know, gonna start checking loot out here and see what we got. Um, I believe, uh, I just, okay, I just ate and, you know, just made sure I'm just topped up on everything. Let me just, uh, throw a little bit of loot into the chest, uh, the the boxers started to get a little full. Didn't realize I got some sniper rifle parts. They're not the best, but oh well. Uh, we'll just throw that in there. And oh, <laughs> spike clubs need a little pairs, but starting to start checking up on the salute. You know. also did get a, shot, a full shotgun from the last horde night. Um, just yeah, we're. And so, of course, priorities here are going to be just kind of clean up all the bodies from the whore, you know, first and foremost, and, you know, just get, get all taken care of, but they're going to be on the, on the steel grind, and, um, yeah, the chaotic little horde night, you know, last night you had screamers, uh, I think, I believe they were spawning more zombies in, I don't know for sure. If they do that or not, but yeah, you know, just hopefully getting, some, hopefully I'm wanting to get some extra loot out of this for for ammunition. You know, like uh, a couple dukes out of you. Um, I just picked those sham sandwiches up again. Did not want to do that. Uh, you know, just so the zombie loot is not the greatest, but. It's worth searching through, in my opinion, just to see what, see what they have. You know, like I say, sometimes they give, like, they give a little bit of ammunition, and you can get some decent stuff out of them, like some water. You get a little bit of food, which I don't really need. Food, the honey is always uh, welcome, and I will just grab uh, that, grab that, and make sure we have all the honey taken care of. Yeah, amongst the chaos, there was a little bit of um, ferals and all that, you know, all that jazz. That's, I think that's one half of the horde base uh, loot up, you know, we can utilize both sides of it, and just keep on checking here. Ugh, more sham sandwiches. My favorite. There we go, finally some half-decent loot out of them. Shoddy shells and 9 mil and... Well, occasionally they gave me some good stuff. How would you like that? One of them even gave me a, gave me a, uh, gave me some antibiotics, so. Nice little thing there. Make sure we just continue to take a little, you know, just, because uh, to me it's like, can never have too much loot. Um, yeah, there's one zombie in here might be a screamer, because there was a screamer beating all night on the base, but, uh, you know, do have a little bit of repairs there to take care of, but it's really not that bad. But yeah, um, give me a second while I just, oh, missed a couple zombies here, but, you know, while I clear, kind of clean up the, clean up the loot with, with the, uh, the good old zombies and, you know, just so I can make sure, uh, you know, just so I can do, make sure, you know, this is all looking pretty again. We'll, we'll decide what we want to do then. Okay, YouTube, I have cleaned up my, my, uh, my base. It's all cleaned up of the, uh, of the, uh, the Hordite remnants and everything. And got some, got some fertilizer weighing the, for the next harvest. I'm just gonna throw that in and what I actually wanna do is uh I wanna get I wanna grab all my animal fat and take a look at making gasoline. Don't don't want oil shale. We want this recipe here. In murky water and cornmeal. So uh, just check everything for a 
cornmeal. But what I was gonna say is, I actually do like looking at everything. Like uh, in my, you know, just kind of looking at everything. You know, I realize that my forges are out of fuel. My my wonderful uh, little, and I do have to repair a bit, but. Yo, know, one thing I'm kind of realizing that I need to just keep myself going is uh, I need nitrate powder. Uh, we'll just make a... we'll do like... 50 cornmeal just to... just to turn this into... There we go. Read... go. Just want to make some gasoline because I realize like I'm getting lower on on that, but it's like I need nitrate powder because like I need it for gunpowder and I do want to make um what do you call it the I would like to make more fertilizer out of uh, this you know get my farm going you know nice and steady and you know just get everything going. But I think you know it wouldn't be a bad idea to have. Uh, to go and take a take another looting trip though after Fortnite just to kind of keep it from uh, you actually go to the northern town again and instead of getting sidetracked like I did with uh, Trigger Jimmy the other day and then we went and found our town. It's not a bad thing. It just uh, wound up in me getting a it wound up in me getting you know, getting my nail gun. I'm happy to have it. Don't get it wrong, it's just that uh, I was planning on doing that, and besides, like, I, I haven't looted the shotgun messiah and haven't done that yet, so I'm going to just kind of get my forges restarted and keep them, you know, get them busy again, you know, work on at least maybe smelting more iron for steel, and there's, a, and I will stop at a cave for, on the one that I know of, like, it's near my spawn, I'll show you really quick. Uh, it's like on the other side here. Right there. Because I know that has nitrate in it. And, yo, make sure we'll grab some of that and... I will meet you at the northern town. Well, folks... Uh, I decided to not actually grab uh, nitrate powder on the way to town. We'll do. I'll do that, like on overnight. You know, once I decide to go back to, go back to the old town. You know, well to the base and want to check out the airdrop. We got sniper rifle parts and gas can schematic and you know just you know maybe a couple things we could sell to Jimmy and I just remembered that uh you know. We're, if I really feel like it, I can I can go check the traders because uh, today is actually trader restock today, which uh, when because uh, what I'm trying to say is that the uh, the traders and airdrops are on the same cycle for restocking, so kind of like it, keep in mind this is on this is when uh. Yo, an airdrop, uh, when you have airdrops set to three days, uh, like every three days, uh, the airdrop comes in, the, and the, the, uh, the traders, uh, it's like, uh, the traders, uh, can get new stock, and kind of a nice little reminder. And, you know, I've had the thoughts of maybe, you know, sometimes I should, you know, stretch out the airdrops a bit. But then again, it's like it's one of those. It's like airdrops every day can can be a little bit too powerful, especially if you have 200% loot on. And uh, but to me, it's like every three days seems to be my kind of sweet spot for it because the airdrops don't really give you that much stuff. It's like they don't even fill up the top row half the time. Getting stuck up, getting stuck up. He's trash. <laughs> Whoopsie. But, uh, it seems like that they're not very, that's it's kind of like, I wish that, uh, the, 
what am I, what I'm trying to say is I wish the airdrops and like, even like, like said the, the boxes, like, a, the gun store boxes were, and like, you know, like, stuff you find in the stores, you know, those boxes, you, I wish it was more, there was, it was more plentiful in those boxes, like, you know, even if it was just, like, rate of, like, you know, iron, plant fibers, and wood, you know, like, plant fibers being, like, you know, the padding for the hay, you know, kind of like the hay you might find in some boxes, like, you know, protecting the, uh, the goods, like, it would just kind of make it feel a bit better, and you're finding more, but, um, anyways, we're coming back into the northern town, we're I'm not gonna get sidetracked this time uh, with a whole different town, but just want to check out the check out the loot over here and made sure to fill up my mini bike on the before I had left. You know, got had that all crafting up and uh, forgot that there's a prison in this town. Like, I swear these prison POIs are very very plentiful for for what you find, but. Um, Figured we'll check out works of tools first here. Of course, it's respawned, and nothing in there. Some paper. Probably just leave the paper behind because don't really need it. I have plenty of paper at home for making shotgun shells. Um, not much there. We got commercial toilet, and not had nothing really in there. Just aside from the murky waters couple of medical supplies, you know. Sounds like a company outside, as per usual. Oh, it, yep, it's, it's Stevie Boy. Come here, buddy. No. There you go. He was trying to... I guess he was trying to give me a hand, but... Sir, I don't need a hand. And we'll just take a look at that. Nothing. Really not much in these working sift boxes. And there's not too much junk in there aside from rebar frames, decent iron shovel, and another from another nail gun. Uh, the game being the oh, would you look at that? Some parts say uh, I'm just gonna scrap those. It's like completely forgot about that. I will take those shotgun parts though. Iron chest armor and a little bit more paper. Not. Kind of a strikeout on the, uh, on that for, for loot. Uh, we'll go check the prison really quick here just to see what we, what we have. It should be respawned by now, if I'm not mistaken. Let's just check. Uh, you got some ammunition for me, and it would be nice if he dropped me some 44 Magnums, but that's one of the rarest ammunition types in the game. Well, it's not saying it you know, should be dropping 44 Magnum all the time, but one of those it's more common on this version. Which, ironically enough, like uh, I will say this, you know, like uh, I do watch all um, one of my main uh, so days careers that I watch a lot of, uh, you know, in my spare time is Woodley. You know, it's like watch him. It's like man, you really tend to find a lot of. On the, uh, at least in Alpha 21, uh, I kind of saw, I've seen that, you know, 44, if you're not using 44 Magnum on that version, it's like, eh, a bit more 762s. But, um, what I was gonna say is, not really using 44 Magnums and on that version, and it's like, uh, they kind of tend to pile up a lot. It's like, uh, I like try to use uh, all weapon types, yo, know, if I'm not doing specific. Oh, hey, sniper rifle. A full one. Decent hunting rifle barrel. I don't remember if my hunting rifle barrel is actually maxed out yet or not, but gladly take it. 45 pistol grip. I think my, I think my pistol grip is, like, I think everything, I can't remember if it's, can't remember now, but I know my shotgun stocks are maxed out, so no worries about those, but I know that my, like, I'm getting a lot of max parts and everything, so not, not too concerned with that. Question is, did I check the 
corpse up top uh, in this tower for for any uh, magnum parts or ammunition. Sometimes I can't. <laughs> uh, we'll we'll check just to be absolutely sure though. Did you have anything? No, sadly. Sadly, you don't have anything for me. We just gotta run over to one more tower. I can't remember if this one has any loot or not. It's like, uh, it might, might not, but it's worth checking at least to see if there's any ammunition. There's a penny over there just hanging out. Okay. Did you have any corpses? Do you at least have one up top? Which, a couple bullet casings and an iron airhead. Lovely. Yeah, that's really about it for that one. Um, we got the. We still have yet to check the shotgun messiah though. See if there's a, see if there's anything worthwhile or not. I just gotta remember where my mini bag is. We'll just let Penny do her Penny do her thing. So, give me one second. I'll be over the shotgun messiah. Here we are at Shotgun Saya. Awesome to see this. And... Well... Let's just see what we got. A sawed-off barrel, I think... Now keep in mind, I'm not saying I'm... I'm gonna... You know, immediately scrap it, but it's like... I'm pretty sure my sawed-off stuff's already maxed out like it's a... I think they're already maxed out for for shotties and everything. It's like, oh, would you look at that? A little bit of paper. Start making a brass pile. I know um, if I know I could just uh, save that for the for the forges at home. Another sniper rifle barrel, shotgun stock. Don't really need you. And hunting rifle a receiver. Don't really need it. Just kind of what it is with shotgun stocks at this point. I don't really want them. Hunting rifle parts, I know those are a little 600. We'll just save all that and. More plastics and. Another sawed off shotgun barrel. I'll at least uh, do some quick assembly just to throw a couple things together and. Because if anything, those uh, barrels will sell for good cash to trader once uh, upgraded fully. I mean, repaired completely. We'll just scrap that and take those sniper rifle parts. Nerdy glasses, eh. Don't really care. But, um, uh, there is a, also a couple of there's also a couple of good, um, what am I trying to say, like, you know, a couple, some bunkers I could radio you know, with safes in them, you know, we'll check those out in just a second while I do a little bit of, uh, you know, just a little bit of, you know, consolidation of loot, we'll just, not bad loot, it's just that, and sadly, the, the game being the game, uh, it is, I wish there was a, wish the game would give me a, give me a, yo, uh, the magazine to the AK-47. It's that red herring to me, it just does not, it's like, it's kind of my unicorn. It just proceeds to elude me. Well, at least check out this theory here for the say. Oh, lovely. Yeah, that that's really great loot for day 64. Occasionally if I that kind of low tier loot, but I'm like, oh, you could have given me something decent. You failed my game. Oh, gun safe, we got pistol parts, hunting rifle parts, pistol barrel, yeah, more. More of the, more parts that I don't, I don't really need for I really just do not need for, for junk, yo. 
just kind of one of those. It's like, unless I have a bunch of, uh, unless I have a bunch of, yo, know, yo, know, unless there are parts I know that are can improve, you know, that are not 600. It's like, it's just kind of was well, not not that exciting. It's like, not say they're bad, just that. It's just one of those, you know, can't, like, kind of just not really interesting to me. Uh, we'll just keep on looking through here. We'll just take a look at the gun save. Another pistol receiver. I think I need, like, I think I actually need some extra, like, I actually think I need some extra, you know, pieces, like, you know, for, to max out my pistol receiver. Check these just for the heck of it, and... and... a uh, football helmet, I'll take it for the, uh, just to make it into a, a mining helmet. Just so I can increase quality again. There's not too much there, and... You know, just doesn't hurt to check out the lockers. Not much more in there, and... Another, we got a decent little, we got a decent little, uh, letter duster we can sell off for cash, and let's just, I just want to check out the corpses, just, just cause. More ammunition, and what have you got for me, buddy? A little bit more 9mm for this SMG, excellent. We'll just scrap you down for iron, not really... Look at use archery too much. Besides, if I get used to archery on this CO you know, version, even though um on uh on mining, you know, like cool on as I'm recording this, yo, know, out try try to go through some zombies, but um I still have not like uh, keep mine. You know, when I say this, I don't, I'm not saying, uh, this is, uh, exactly when you expect it to take it the uh, big old, take it with a massive gray assault, like, uh, to quote, uh, Spartan 85, yes, uh, as he said earlier today, uh, as June 12th, <laughs> take, uh, take the, just, Take the biggest grain of salt you've ever seen with when I say this. Uh, the uh, the the 1.0 release uh, for PC at least. Hopefully, consoles is supposed to be July 25th. That is what the fun pimps have said. It's supposed to be. It is, and uh, if it does not release, yo, know, like that, yo, know, don't. You know, don't come after me, you know, saying that I'm lying, you know, I am, you know, I am being cautiously optimistic, uh, for, you know, it's like, because, uh, Fun Pimps, uh, you know, you know, thanks for, you know, developing the game, you know, as much as you have, but they're, they are notorious for not, you know, meeting, you know, not meeting deadlines, uh, pistol parts, joy. But, um, if I get used to the archery now and on this version, I don't, I think it's a little different on, on, uh, on 1. You know, like Alpha 21 slash 1.0. More gun parts there. We'll just scrap out the, I'll actually just start scrapping out some of the lesser stuff of the, of the pistol. And we'll even scrap that down. Let's just kind of like probably get screwed up a little bit and just scrap more of that. Kind of that's why I'm not doing too much archery. Don't want to, you know, like get accustomed to this version and then have, uh, you know, just have, then suddenly get completely messed up on it. Munitions crate. Or rocket launcher stock. I don't even know if I have a full rocket launcher. That would be something I have to check. 
But, before we end out the day, though, I think what would be a good idea just to just to check would be go look at Trader Jimmy real quick, just see if he's got anything interesting that I might want. And, uh, fingers crossed, maybe an AK-47 parts. I'll see you there in just a moment. And a short drive later, we are now coming up on Trader Jimmy's. Really not that big, really not that long of a drive, uh, you know, coming over to Trader Jimmy's from the northern town. Let's just kind of pull in here, you know, I know it's late on business hours for him, but let's just see if he's got anything interesting at all for, for his wares. Hi, Trader yeah, Jimmy. what do you want? Um, something interesting, please. You... You still have 44 Magnum parts, so which aren't that bad. I'm just... I could use that to max out my Magnum. And you don't got much else in there. And we'll just take a look at what is in your stock. You don't have... You don't have much, uh, on those, and, yeah, you really don't got much here, Jimmy. Nothing really tripping my trigger aside from those magnum parts. Tell you what, buddy, I will give you some, you leather duster, you can have, you can have a lot of my stuff. We'll just trade in shotgun barrel, we'll give you that stuff. And you can even have my even have my pistol oh, stuff. Damn at goods and that's all you buy. Hey, I don't still have a little bit more for you. Let me take a look at her, Jimmy. Okay. We'll just uh get more hunting rifle stuff for him. Take a look at. We'll just figure we'll go for those 44 magnum parts. Have some, have some extra magnum stuff. Got caught up on the trap. Ah, uh, ah, oh boy. Okay, fucker. You respect the shop rules, and we'll get along just fine. Maybe I'll respect the shop rules if you, if you all give. All that damn gawking at goods, and that's all you buy. Maybe if you actually you can wipe that shit off your boots before you come into my shop. Maybe if you actually give me a little bit of respect for you, Jimmy, I would actually. Maybe I'll actually buy something. I'll give you the. I'll buy the bag of parts off you. How much do I have? Oh, I'm two coins short. Uh, well, thankfully I have that. You can have my painkillers as well, buddy. There we go. Magnum parts taken Thank care you, of. Buddy. Yeah. So, Barter level 59. Uh, unfortunately, Trader Jimmy doesn't have that much to give to me. It's got close to nighttime, YouTube. So, I'm gonna leave this episode here. Uh, if you made this far and you enjoyed the video, I hope you. Give a like, comment, and subscribe down below. It helps the channel out oh so much. Uh, more than you'll ever know. And uh, I will see you in the next episode. Have a great day and take care.